The Minister of Tourism, the Honorable Dionisio de Aguila, says he still needs to be convinced that Bahamas John Canoe Carnival can attract tourists to the Bahamas before he and the Ministry of Tourism can support it. He says that has yet to happen, and it is not the ministry's mandate to spend money to create a good party for Bahamians. De Aguila says tourism is focused on attracting foreign visitors to the country and creating experiential moments for them. The tourism minister says that the Bahamas John Canoe Carnival can attract a large foreign audience as it was intended it, it would get his ministry support. Many of the carnivals we've had so far have had very little foreign visitor participation and we need to have a plan that figures out how to get people to come to carnival from overseas, thereby bringing foreign reserves into our country, spending money with our businesses and that is when uh, the Ministry of Tourism will be minded to support. But I haven't received a convincing argument yet nor has anything in plans been brought to me on who is coming, how we intend to attract them, where tourism is, is necessary to participate. When I see that plan from my technical staff or from the Ministry of Youth Sports, I'm sure tourism will be minded to support. Diagola says Bahamas John Canoe Carnival has been moved to the portfolio of the Ministry of Youth, Sports and Culture. The event was held for three years and the minister says he is not sure how 2018's installment will be managed considering past challenges. Diagola says government is still interested in privatizing the festival, although he could not say if there have been any serious offers from prospective buyers. It's in our manifesto that we want to privatize it. Uh, we don't want the government to lose oodles of money as they have done in the past. And may I remind everybody that this has cost the taxpayer in excess of $25 million thus far, and we have very little to show for it. Um, and so we were elected to spend the people's money prudently and wisely, so I'm sure we're reviewing that to see whether we're getting bang for buck. 